for our Hoboken Youth of the Year. Let's hear it for Sanam Lama. Come on up, Sanam. Let's give a round of applause for our brothers and sisters from Hoboken. Well, I have the pleasure of introducing Shh, our 2006 Hudson County Youth of the Year, who you remember from last year, who went on to win the New Jersey State Youth of the Year competition. Jonathan Matamoris, who's going to make a very, very special introduction. And good evening to all of you, all of our sponsors, all of our club members. You all are honored guests. As mentioned, my name is Jonathan Matamoris. And the last time I spoke to you, I was representing this club organization as the Youth of the Year. Today, I represent all the clubs in this state as the New Jersey Boys and Girls Club Youth of the Year. I'm here tonight to introduce an extraordinary leader. This leader is a senior from my alma mater, St. Peter's Prep. He maintains a high grade point average of 92 while enrolled in advanced courses. His character can be determined through his co-curricular activities. He's a member of SAD, Students Against Destructive Decisions, the Outreach Club, the Stock Market Club, the Asian Pacific Society, and the National Honor Society. Wow. <laughs> he has also been a member of the Hoboken Boys and Girls Club since he was six years old. When he was 10, he began his leadership career by receiving the Sir Thomas J. Lipton Sportsmanship of the Year Award, which has also been awarded to Tiger Woods and Serena Williams. Since then, he became the Vice President of the Torch Club, an active member of the Keystone Club, and has discovered a desire to help and serve the homeless at the Hoboken Coalition Shelter. He has truly stepped up to life's challenges and has learned to become a man for others, one of Prep's ideals. This leader receives this honor because of his dedication to his family and his culture, his commitment to school, his commitment to better his community, and for his confidence and composure on the basketball court. It is my honor to introduce the 2007 Youth of the Year for the Boys and Girls of Hudson County, my friend and my prep brother, Sanam Lama. Good evening, everyone. Thanks, John. I am elated and overjoyed to have been selected as the Hudson County Youth of the Year for 2007. It is an honor and a privilege to be chosen to represent such a respected and elite group. As I stand here and gaze at all the successful people and future contributors of the world, I am reminded of the, mar ma uh, the master of martial arts, Bruce Lee, who once, who once stated, if you always put a limit on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your work. And, in, and into your life. There are no limits. There are only plateaus. And you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. This profound quote has significantly impacted my motivations and outlook on life. In fact, it has instilled in me an unrelenting desire to further my education as a means to exceed my potential and to conquer all the challenges that I may encounter. Astonishingly, this statement has convinced me to believe that it is a necessity for one to possess the virtues of determination, dedication, and knowledge. In order to achieve ultimate success and to, and, and to survive in today's society. Ever since I was a young boy, I had always been instilled with a deep sense of curiosity. It seemed almost as if I needed to know everything that functioned around me. Quite frankly, it was this bizarre quality of mine that, proved, that drove me to join the Torch Club at the age of seven. As I grew older and became acquainted with the methods and actions of this particular club, I gradually gained authority which I later demonstrated through scheduling various trips and events. Interestingly, the most memorable trip that I scheduled was a roller skating event that took place in the Newark roller, roller Rink. Not only was this trip enjoyable and new for most of the members, but it also benefited the health and fitness aspect that the Torch Club emphasizes due to the success of, that emphasizes due to the success and enjoyment of this event. My fellow members decided that I was suitable to serve as an officer in the club. 
particularly vice president, when I was 10 years old. Despite the clubs and activities that I've been involved in, what lured me to re return to the Boys and Girls Club every day was the staff members, primarily Mike Mincy, the gym director, and Tony Rozier, the unit director, both of whom I met when I was in kindergarten. These two wonderful men have been my mentors at the club. Mike has given me guidance and support throughout my life as a coach and as a friend. In fact, the first time I met Mike, he instructed me on how to effectively defend my opponents while playing basketball. When I ask him now why he felt the need to teach me the proper defensive stance, he responds by stating, you were the only one in that gym that had that fire in their eyes, so I knew you had great potential. Despite his German persona, Mike is a kind-hearted and caring person. He has exhibited his care and compassion by assisting me throughout my entire process in entering St. Peter's Prep. Thus, throughout my life, Mike has truly displayed his care in my academic and athletic endeavors and has offered me great support and guidance in my quest to pursue them. In addition, when I recollect on my experiences at the club, I am reminded of Tony Rozier. Tony was the boss, or the head, hon the head honcho, if you may. And although his status may have been far superior to mine, he greeted me as one of his buddies. Due to our close friendship, Tony and I would occasionally sit down and discuss my intended career path, my future goals, and, and discuss my, uh, and my top three choices for high school. He offered me wonderful advice and elaborately explained his views on my choices. Evidently, Mike and Tony have always believed in me and have allowed me the opportunity to explore new places and create new talents that I did not know I possessed. Both Mike and Tony made sure that Gary and the members of the Board of Trustees knew of my dreams of becoming a St. Peter's Prep student. Gary and the board members, primarily Tom Lean, were so impressed by my academic success and my athletic accomplishments that they decided to make my dreams a reality by granting me a scholarship to prep. And although Gary, Mike, and Tony are a huge part of my admiration for the club, they remain as valuable pieces to the puzzle. One of the most important pieces of the puzzle is the club itself. The club had evolved into more than just an after-school program. I believe that it became a way of life for me. More importantly, it became my means of opportunity, enjoyment, and freedom. The club permitted me to explore my talents and abilities by engaging in new activities. Thankfully, it had become my way out of my monotonous life in my parents' grocery store and into an, atmos an intense atmosphere, an atmosphere in which I thrive. Consequently, I owe this award to all those who have inf influenced me, guided me, and have supported me throughout my life. First and foremost, I thank God for, the, for blessing me with this precious honor and giving me this opportunity to demonstrate my gratitude to all of you before me. I thank my loving parents who have been my heroes and have truly inspired me and touched my heart through their years of hard work and sacrifice to provide a better life for my younger brothers and myself. Also, I would like to thank Mike, who has been my mentor and my rock and my foundation. Gary, who has provided me with exuberant support. Siobhan Rodriguez, who has given me instrument, insurmountable support and guidance throughout this entire application process with the essays and the speeches. Pat Gray, who has, who has exhibited her desire for me to, to, to succeed in this competition. Jonathan Matamoros, who has uh, sacrificed his free time to inform me of what being a youth of the year may entail. And last but not least, my two younger brothers, Jumling and Pema, who I love dearly and hope to serve as their role model. Thus, looking back on my years at the Hoboken Boys and Girls Club, I have come to realize that I have found the greatest joy in making an impact in the lives of young people. Through my volunteering services and countless hours of dedication to serving my community, I have gained many lifelong friendships and have improved my inner self. One cannot measure my deep appreciation and gratitude for the Boys and Girls Club. It has been a blessing to be part of such an empowering place where lives are impacted every day. Although some may call their volunteer work as service, it has simply been my way of demonstrating my love and, my, and gratitude for the club. In the words of the famous college basketball coach Jim Valvano, to get to where you want to go, you have to have an enthusiasm for life. You have to have a dream, a goal, and you have to be willing to work for it. Through the Boys and Girls Club, I have gained a family and an everlasting home. I am proud to represent the club, and I will always ensure that every member at the crossroads hears my story and knows that with determination, diligence, and self-sacrifice, they too can make their mark. Thank you. How about that?